so today I'm going to be doing the eyeshadow junkie tag. So this was a requested video and there's a bunch of different YouTubers that made up this tag and one of them was Fancy That with Candace and I believe War Paint with Tara Michelle and a lot of people have been doing it lately and I believe there were some YouTubers that were just doing a general tag like hey if you make videos you should do it so I'm like I will take your tag and I'll raise you a video. Pretty sure it was lip gloss Leslie, which you know I love. So I had a request to do this, so I thought, well, that will be perfect. So let's go ahead. Alrighty, favorite drugstore line for eyeshadows. You know, one thing I've done this past year is I've is I've decluttered a lot of things, and some of the things that I decluttered were eyeshadows that were drugstore that I didn't feel like I was reaching for because they didn't perform as well as other eyeshadows I have. So I was looking through my eyeshadow and realizing like I have hardly anything drugstore. The only things I have are Makeup Revolution and e.l.f. So I guess those get to be my favorites because I'm like that's honestly all I have. Like I don't have any Maybelline quads. Like what is happening? I don't even know. But I do really like this matte for matte palette because I feel like no matter what I want to do that's shimmery, I can grab this just for some basic crease colors and I do use this quite a bit so I really like that. And also I have my Makeup Revolution palette. This is the Romantic Smoky palette. This is super pigmented and my favorite out of the two Revolution Makeup Revolution palettes I've tried. So I'd probably say those two. There's going to be several that I have two answers for. Okay, favorite eyeshadow primer. That is a no-brainer for me. I always use e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. It's like two bucks. It works great. So I always go for this. I have used Urban Decay Primer Potion before, but honestly, I'd rather save the money and get like an eyeshadow and use this because for my eyelids, it seems to work just fine. Okay, first ever eyeshadow purchase and do you still use it? So I'm trying to think what my very first eyeshadow purchase would have been. I got a lot of hand-me-down makeup because I have three older sisters, but I will tell you one thing I used to do and then I'll tell you like when I got a little older what my first real makeup purchase was. So when I was in junior high, I got into the Halloween makeup kit and I realized that I could take the white clown makeup that you use as a base and it made an awesome eyeshadow base. So here I am ahead of my time on the, the NYX Milk Jumbo eyeshadow pencil. I was whitening out my eyes with that silly whatever white clown makeup like when I was 13 or 14 so I put it all over and then I had some like hand-me-down um, eyeshadows they're probably like Maybelline cover girl stuff like that and I would do like blues and purples like in the crease and then what I would do on my lid is it actually came with this little tube and I'm lucky I didn't go blind it came with this little tube of sticky glitter that was like holographic and I would put that right on my lid and I actually bought that same like Halloween makeup kit twice to get more of that glitter because I would wear that all the time and I just loved it. Um, the real first makeup I bought was Clinique. I believe that I had like, I had one that was called Sugarberry that was like a purple and I had like a bronze and then like a neutral matte shade that were like in those little slide out drawers. And then I had a one that had a big cream and a little dark purple in it. Guys, I would probably say that it was a year after YouTube and I still had those and that was from high school and I was like, okay, um, I need to get rid of these. The eyeshadows were just very dense and they weren't like kicking up any product. Like they just had gotten like this crusty layer on them and I was just like, I've had these for a really long time. But those were my go-to looks. I would do a light purple all over the lid and then I would do the bronze because I had the blue eyes or for dances, I would do white on the lid and then like a dark purple in the crease. So, okay, best drugstore eyeshadow dupe. I had quite a few dupes that I had shown before and then because they were dupes, I decluttered them because I was like, I'm always going to go for the one that I like better. So I was like, ah, I don't really have a lot of dupes. So I took a minute and I looked around and I was like, there's got to be something in here somewhere that could qualify as a dupe. And I found one in the Need It Nude palette. So it's this shade right here. I'll swatch it out here for you. And I did this upstairs, so the lighting is not as good. Hopefully, down here it is still a dupe or <laughs> I'll be in trouble. 
So let me swatch it out first before I tell you. You know, it's it's pretty dang close. So that color in the Need It Nude is a dupe for Trick and the Naked 3, which is a very interesting color. It's like orange and rose gold. So here's the swatch. I don't know if you can tell, like I swatched them right next to each other, but I mean, pretty dang close. Like on my fingers and stuff, I honestly can't tell the difference. And honestly, this one in the e.l.f. is just, if not a little more creamy, because I think Trick in the Urban Decay palette is like a little dense. This one's a little teeny bit more creamy. So that's gonna be my, be my best dupe for you today. Okay, so most underrated. Let's see. For most underrated, I have to say Marabella. They are a company that is sold in salons. It is what I was originally trained on when I was trained on makeup in school bazillion years ago. I don't think anyone talks about these. Once in a while, you'll see a Mirabella product show up in like an Ipsy bag or a Birch box, but I don't see people like doing hauls of them and like people really talking a lot about them. I do have videos on all of these eyeshadow palettes that I have from them. They have changed their format now where they don't just sell single eyeshadows. They actually do like little um, quads. So they took these same colors and pre-package them in quads that went together. Cause I think for some people it was just so overwhelming to be like, where's all this, all these colors, where do I start? And they did that probably I'd say like less than a year ago. And I still have these, so these are great and I will continue to use them. And I'm planning on using these on my project palette as well in the next coming months. But these are great shadows. Like they have super pigmentation and they're beautiful and creamy. And I'll just swatch some of these for you. And I, I have loved these shadows for a long time. So anyway, I think they're definitely underrated because I don't hear anyone talking about them. Okay, favorite cream shadow. I'm not, I'm gonna pick two again because I feel like I can cheat a little. I don't think ColourPop really counts as a cream, but I'm just gonna mention the color fringe. This is my favorite, like all over the lid shade. It's just a nice light shimmering gold color. And I really like it for on the lid. It's just beautiful inner corner highlight, stuff like that. But as far as like a true, true cream shadow, I'm gonna go with my Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is in pink amethyst. I've almost used this thing up. Like I'm so close to hitting pan on this. Like I can almost see through it. But this is a beautiful shadow and this is probably one of my long lap, one of my most long lasting shadows. This is older, so it's starting to dry out, and I found that now when I use it, that the eyeshadow kind of clings to it. But when I first bought this, it was so silky and smooth. So this is probably on the verge of needing to be decluttered just because the texture of it has changed. But when I bought this new, this formula was my favorite out of all the cream shadows that I've tried. Oh, I missed one. What is your favorite single eyeshadow? Let's see. At the moment, my favorite single eyeshadow is probably this NAR shadow in Himalaya. I want to do a makeup look with this and just do like a five minute makeup because this is one of those colors that when you put it on your eye, it just ends up taking on different tones and it's a great like one shadow look. So I really like this and I don't have a ton of single shadows, but I'm going to mention one that's like an old favorite. So this is like a new favorite. So before I got into the world of YouTube, and somewhat too, I don't know if I've ever used this in a tutorial, which is stupid of me because it seriously was my favorite shade. I've repurchased this shade several times. This is Sushi Flower from MAC. When I was in my early 20s, this was my go-to. I wore this all the time. Like I wore this heavy black liner and Sushi Flower. It was my jam. I was, oh, I've always been kind of a uh, beat to your own drum kind of person. Like I'd always wear things. People would be like, I would never wear that, but it looks great on you. I've never been afraid of colored eyeshadow. I was wearing this when nobody was wearing it. I have worn this under my lash line. I really went through that like punk rock stage. And so the hot pink eyeshadow was totally me. So this is like an oldie but goodie. And this is a new one. Favorite neutral eyeshadow. I will go with Urban Decay Sin. I actually have panned this in my Naked palette which I have panned very few shadows, like ever. <laughs> so the fact that I panned that 
is amazing. This is the single version of it. This is just kind of like a backup for when I run out of that. And because I've gotten so many other palettes lately, I haven't given the Naked One as much love as it should have, but it is one of my favorite just neutral shadows. If you need a great lid shade, it is beautiful. So I already mentioned Sushi Flower as my most favorite single shadow, but it kind of goes along with my favorite colored shadow as well. But another new favorite of mine is the Urban Decay Lounge. This is what I'm wearing today. I'm kind of addicted to it. It is so beautiful. I don't know why I can't stop wearing greens. So I would say colored this because it's like colored, but still like not because it's got the brown. You know what I mean? And number 10, the best eyeshadow palette ever. I'm not going to say it's the best eyeshadow palette ever. I'm going to say it is my favorite eyeshadow palette ever because opinions may disagree on what the best eyeshadow palette is, but I feel like the palette that has shown up in my favorites time and time again is the original Chocolate Bar palette. Now the reason why I love this palette so much is because it's got everything you need. You have a beautiful matte cream highlight. You have this beautiful lid color that's just nice and has kind of an opalescence look to it. I have all these great matte shades that are perfect colors for me for transition, but then you've got this pop of rose gold. You've got a pop of gold. You've got these dark chocolatey bronzes. Then you go over here and you've got a whole different story going on. You've got these burgundies, matte and shimmer, some purples, plums, and a nice matte pink, and then a touch of green. So I feel like all the colors in here are wearable. I feel all of them have good pigmentation. I don't feel like any of them are duds. So that's kind of what I rated this on is that I feel like I love everything that's in here. It's not like, oh, this is my favorite shade, but I only like five. Does that make sense? So that is everything for the eyeshadow junkie tag. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me see if I can tag some people really quick. I'll just be opening up my YouTube and pull somebody up. Let's see who makes videos, who wants to do this tag. I will tag the three ladies that I've done a collab with. So Deb the Makeup Noob, Everyday Starlet, and Love Struck Lover Girl. You guys are all tagged. I'm also going to tag Pretty Pistol 86 and Dusty K. So all of you beautiful ladies, I would love to see this video. If you've already done it, I'm sorry. I guess I must have missed it. Leave me a comment down below with your link and I will watch it. And for the rest of you who make videos, I would love to see it as well. If you've already done it, leave me a link. If you want to do it, I tag you. You can do it now. Leave me a link. I'd love to watch it and see what you guys' picks are. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!